Petri 4 Studio Bass Player and this is Bass Grooves 1. In this video what we're going to do is cover the technique of Jaco Pastorius, James Jameson, Stanley Clark, and Marcus Miller and study their technique and how they approach the bass. So before we get started let's tune up.
Now the first thing we'll do is uh, work on a chakra groove. And it goes like this. by the way, this groove's an E, and I'm sliding up to the A flat, and I'm hitting the B, F sharp, C sharp, and just walking up chromatically. starts to sound like the groove is when um, is when you start using the right hand and I'll show you what I'm doing in a minute because you start adding ghost notes and sounding like the A flat, B, F sharp, C sharp, chromat, and then walk up chromatically. Now basically with the right hand, I'm hitting uh, ghost notes. I'm going... keep doing it. Once you keep doing it, you'll start getting the feel for it. Because if you just play the notes straight, it's not going to sound like the groove. So basically, when I'm, I'm hitting the ghost notes, I'm using the left hand to manipulate the string. Like, in other words, when I slide up to the A flat, I, I'm pretty much hitting, I'm hit, when I, instead of going, hitting the notes for B, F sharp, and C sharp, I'm just hitting ghost notes. So, so, 
So when I hit these these notes here, I'm really just hitting ghost notes. I'm not even pressing down on on the frets. And then this last part, what I'm doing is I'm going, I'm hitting. hitting a ghost note right before this last and I'm hitting a hammer on from here to here from E flat to E or D sharp I'm hitting so I'm hitting the uh, the D sharp as a ghost note and then I'm hammering on to E notes I'm hitting just an opening Now here's another groove by Jocko, and it goes like this. This is an E, and I'm going, I'm hitting the, uh, I'm going E, just using the right hand and I'm hitting ghost notes so I'm hitting I'm hitting the uh, E then the octave so after I hit the octave twice I'm hitting a ghost note So the E, I'm hitting the E, then the octave, ghost note, and then when I go down to D, I'm hitting a D, C sharp, so I'm going E, go 
ghost note. Then I hit the D once and then two ghost notes. notes in between uh, the notes that I'm playing. Take it from the top. <laughs> 